On Sunday, Tanisha Hill and her daughter lost everything in a house fire. Last night, we brought you their story and told you how Red Cross money allowed them a hotel stay, but that money ran out today and the pair would have had to check out at noon with nothing and nowhere to go. But in just 24 hours, the community has rallied around this family, keeping a roof over their heads and so much more. This was the scene at Tanisha Hill's home Sunday. And just yesterday, we were there as she walked through the rubble, trying to salvage what was left. <laughs> After the fire, her and her young daughter ran out of money at their hotel and were panicked, wondering where they would sleep tonight. That's when you all stepped up to the plate. They don't know us, and I know it's the holidays, money's tight, but people still actually care in this world, and they helped us. Overnight, messages flooded in, everyone looking to help. Tonight, Tanisha and her daughter remained in their hotel after a group of people paid for them to stay there for another week. I feel relieved. Um, I can actually like breathe right now, like without just not knowing. Like my heart is becoming a little bit lighter because it's been really, really heavy, like not knowing my next move. On top of that, all day long, people stop by their room, bringing them money, food, clothes, cleaning and pet supplies, notes of encouragement, and so much more. Some even offering up empty rooms in their homes. They're like, you're really helping me. Like, I have somewhere to lay still and some, things to eat. Like, it's really amazing. The family hopes they'll be able to stay in the room at least through Christmas. And while the holidays will look different this year, someone is even helping the family with that. Um, she's donating a Christmas tree to us today, so um, we at least have a Christmas tree on Christmas. It doesn't matter if we have gifts or not, because our life is that, that's the big gift, still being alive after all this. The family's GoFundMe has also raised over $1,000 overnight. One of the people who helped pay for more nights at the hotel sent me a statement saying in part, we can no longer sit on the sidelines and watch people suffer. It's time to stand up and take the hand of those who have fallen and help them to their feet. The family does still need help, though. For all the details, head to KCENTV.com.